your girl made a mistake. I bought the new mystery bags from Ipsy. And what you guys may or may not know is that when you order the mystery bags from Ipsy, all the stuff comes outside of the bag. So I already got a little sneak peek as to what I received and it's not good, okay? It is not good. I've already emailed Ipsy as far as getting this resolved. If you are considering buying these bags, I would caution against it unless you really love the bag itself. If you love the bag itself, then it'll be worth it for you. The products inside are mid. Some of them are just straight up trash. First, let's talk about the bag. Okay, the bags are cute. I absolutely love this style. It has a little cute Ipsy zipper. The zipper is not flimsy, so I feel like this is gonna last a very long time. It has this kind of like, I don't even know what kind of material you would say this as, like lunchbox material? <laughs> like the same kind of material you would get in like a fabric lunchbox. That's what this looks like, but it's super freaking cute. And I love this baby pink and it has the contrast of the green on the inside, which I think is so much fun. But the contents of the bag, that's where we have a problem. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a repeat. And this begins the plethora of issues that I have with this bag. This is the Kapari Sun Shield Soft Glow Daily Face SPF 30. Uh, now, if you guys are having deja vu, it's because you are. Play the flashback. Next item is by Kapari Kopari. I think that's what that is. And it says Sun Shield Soft Glow Daily Face SPF 30. And this is what the box is looking like. Very simple, very cute. It says the sunscreen smooths skin's appearance with a sheer weightless satin finish. Oh, so it's an itty bitty little squeezy too. We literally just received this in the latest unboxing of a, a freaking mystery bag. I'm just like, when you guys put out new mystery bags, I'm expecting the products to be new. I'm expecting them to be different from previous mystery bags because if I'm buying all the bags, I don't wanna just stockpile on a bunch of things you've already given me. Unfortunately, like this isn't even that cool of a product. Like you don't even get that much. And for it to be a repeat item in the bag just does not make any sense. This is what the little itty bitty tweezy tweezy squeezy tube looks like. I have enough sunscreens and I'm not gonna be able to work through all of them. As you guys can probably guess, a lot of this will be items that I will add to the giveaway. Somebody else is already enjoying their Kapari sunscreen. Uh, I guess another person will be able to enjoy some Kapari sunscreen. The next item that I'm pulling out is something that I've already received. But to be fair, I believe I received this in a glam bag. And this is the Lauren's Vanilla Almond Body Lotion. And this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if I included this in the giveaway or not. I might have. I don't remember. I didn't keep a catalog. But I think this is one of the products that I had in the mystery bag. Well, if I didn't have it in the mystery box for the giveaway, it's going to be in the next one because I just, I don't need any body lotions. This is a cute little product to have. The next thing is another new product. And this is the Avita Invati Advanced Thickening Conditioner. I don't know, but it's this little itty bitty squeezy tube. It's dark, so I can't see through it to tell you how much product is in here. One use, <laughs> you're getting one singular use out of this. Unfortunately, it did not come safety, why am I shaking? It did not come safety sealed, which isn't my favorite. Y'all know I love a good safety seal. Let's see how this smells. It smells kind of pepperminty. No, not peppermint. What is that? Let me put a little bit. I know this is conditioner, but I am gonna rub it in so I can clock the scent. What is that? It's like spicy and sweet, like cinnamon. That's what it smells like. It smells like a spicy cinnamon, but it, it smells good. I'll definitely give it a try and see once, you know, I take my braids out, I'll do a little conditioner treatment and see if my hair feels any better after I use it. So that one's cool. This is another new product. When I say this is another new product, you gotta understand I haven't been getting Ipsy for as long as a lot of the other girlies. So if this was in a previous mystery bag, I just wasn't aware of it. This is the Vit C Brightening Cleanser by Rodile. And this is what the packaging is looking like. This thing feels feels literally empty, but it is nice and safety sealed. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh, it's just kind of like duped out as soon as I opened it. We're gonna go back to our roots and start rubbing in cleansers again. Cause I'm just, I mean, it's already duped out. So I might as well. All right, let's see. It's probably gonna smell like oranges. That's my guess. Actually, this does not smell like oranges. What is that smell? It's definitely flowery. It has a flowery scent. Okay, so it says it has orange scent in 
in it. But there's something else in here. It says a uh, grapefruit extract, passiflora, flower extract, pineapple fruit extract. It's got a bunch of different extracts in here, but it has a very floral scent. It does not smell like your typical uh, vitamin C cleanser, which usually smells like oranges. This one has a more flowery scent, which is pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. It smells good, but that's because I like the scent of flowers. If you don't like the smell of flowers, that's not for you, honey. Pass. Okay, pass that on to somebody else. The last one from the Mystery Glam bag with the mini sizes is the Sweet Streets. I guess this is a lip product. And this is in the shade 1993, which I'm not gonna lie, I was like, ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, ooh, gang, 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 cause you know, I'm a 93 baby. However, the problem that I have with this is that it's old. Can you guys see that? That is cracking. That is most certainly a sign the product is old. They sent us old lip products yet again. The last lip product that they sent me that was old was that Dang Blasted Gerard Cosmetics, that really ugly color that I featured in two videos. And it was just so disgusting and cakey and just ugh and the color was just hideous. Here is what it looks like with all the plastics off. We will swatch her and see. This is what the doe foot applicator is looking like. It does not say what kind of finish this is supposed to be, but this is the color right here. It's actually a really pretty color, perfect for like fall. I would eat this up during like fall. I mean, this one isn't nearly as bad as the Gerard Cos, was it Gerard Cosmetics? This isn't as bad as that, but still very disappointing that we got a repeat item and a cracked lip products. If you're interested in those products, by all means, get the bag, but I just caution against it, me personally. Okay, me personally, I caution against it. Now let's get into the full size items. This bag is so freaking cute. I'm in love with these bags. Same kind of hardware right here, but it matches with the green. The inside is this soft baby pink, which I think is so freaking adorable. These bags complement each other so well. Like if you're going on a trip, you can definitely put like your shower stuff in here and your makeup stuff in here and it'll just be a cute little matching set. Like matching, but not too matchy matchy because it's like the inside, the pink and then the green and then the green and the inside, you know what I'm saying. It's a matchy matchy set without being too matchy. Reaching into my full size bag, again, we're starting off with a repeat item. Uh, unfortunately for me, probably fortunate for one of y'all because this will be going into a future giveaway. This is the Etika hair accessories, these little uh, hair clips. They are cute, okay? They're absolutely cute. I don't wear hair clips. We got these already, okay? We got these already. I got these in, I wanna say the Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day bags. Hair clips by Etika, and they're nice. Like, they're very beautiful, but I just don't use clips. I mean, if they were new hair clips, like a different style, I wouldn't be so annoyed, but I've already gotten these, so why are they in the new Ipsy mystery bag, especially since they came in an already new Ipsy mystery bag from this year. Very disappointed with this. Very happy to put something like this in a future giveaway. So one of y'all will be getting this cute little clip set of when we have our next giveaway, which I'm planning on my next giveaway being in either two options, okay? One option is around my birthday in September or when we reach 20,000 subscribers. Whichever comes first, that's when the next giveaway will be. Reaching into my little bag, well, the big bag. I am pulling out the Truff, Tr Truff Love Nourish Argan Leave-In Mask. And I'm guessing this is just like a little spray leave-in mask for your hair. When I got this, the cap was all off of it, so it could have sprayed out and I would be none the wiser. So this was not packaged appropriately for this mystery bag. Like usually they'll put different products in different bags inside the bag so that it's protected. But this time everything was just thrown into the same bag with no protection if this were to burst. Luckily for me, it did not burst. But if you got your box, or your mystery bags and they were bursted, it's because they didn't package it right. They said this is just like a little leave-in conditioner. Let me see if it has a smell to it. It has like a perfumey kind of scent. Nothing too crazy, but it does have a fragrance to it if you're not really into fragrances for your hair care products. But I don't think it smells bad. Okay, I just, I don't think it smells bad. The next product is by Give Them Lala, which I believe in another mystery Ipsy, we got the mascara. The mascara is okay. It's not anything 
anything super crazy. It's just, it's just a regular mascara. And this is a black eyeliner. I wish they would stop putting black eyeliners in these mystery bags. <laughs> Like, can y'all put in some fun colors, okay? The girlies love pinks and reds and blues and greens and all sorts of colors. Like, can we stop getting black eyeliner? Give me some colors, okay? It's a mystery bag, it's supposed to be fun. But yeah, this is just like a black eyeliner. I'm gonna be honest, I have enough black eyeliners. I have way too many that I'm just not gonna be able to get through. So I'm gonna leave this packaged up, it has plastic wrap on the outside as well. Let me see, is this a gel or? It doesn't say. So I'm not sure if this is a gel liner or, well, let me look at the packaging again, because usually you could tell. I'm guessing this is a gel liner based on the pack. Well, actually it could be liquid. It could be liquid. It does not say, it doesn't say, but it's nice and plastic sealed up. So I will be putting this in the next giveaway, just because like I said, I have too many eyeliner things. I'm not gonna be able to get through all of them. So I'd rather pass this along to somebody else so that they can get some use out of it. So this is going in the giveaway whenever that happens. The next item that I'm pulling out is another product that I have a major issue with. It is a lippy and this is by Jolie 2.0. I, I don't know who that is or what that is. This one is also kind of cracked and disgusting. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me take this little plastic, little plastic off so you guys can see what I'm seeing. I can see it as clear as day, but it is just like crack city. Let's look at the color. This is in the shade Tarina or Tarina. I'm not 100% sure. Tarina, Tarina. Actually, I didn't smell the other one. Hold up. Let me smell this one first. See if it had a scent. It has like a swipe, swipe. <laughs> slight sweet scent. This one has a slight sweet scent. Let's see if this smells like anything. Ooh, this smells really good. It smells like, like berries, like fruity and sweet. Yeah, this smells really, really good. Let's see what the color looks like. Okay, so this is more of like a lip popper, lip gloss. This is what it looks like. I think that's a really pretty color. Absolutely pretty. I would definitely wear something like this. I think that's so pretty and it smells really, really sweet. We won't know how she performs on the lips until we put her on the lips. I mean, it's a pretty product, but it seems a bit old. And that is the issue that I'm having. Two of the lip products seem a bit old. There are two for sure repeat items from recent mystery bags. And the final item that I'm pulling out is by Wander Beauty. And this is the Wanderous Glow Illuminator Wanderous. And this is what the packaging is looking like. I actually really like Wander Beauty products. Let me see. I'm guessing this is a highlighter. Normally I would just throw the highlighters into the giveaway pile because I just, I have so many highlighters. It's ridiculous. Okay. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I do like Wander Beauty products. I'm kind of working my way up to being able to do a full face of Wander Beauty. Now that I have a highlighter, I can scratch that off my list of things to buy. And this is what the packaging is looking like. I think that is so nice and this is in the shade after hours oh yeah that's pretty i don't have a well maybe i do i don't know if i have a highlighter that looks quite like this but i think that is so pretty and it comes with a nice little mirror okay the packaging is very high quality you can tell Ooh, very very beautiful it looks a little powdery on my skin like it looks a little powdery i don't know if you guys can tell that i mean i'd have to see how it performs over makeup happy to try it out you know it'll probably do a little something something to the look we'll see like i said we have to try these products out before we make a full-blown judgment upon them but y'all that was everything in my mystery ipsies I've already contacted Ipsy regarding the old lip products and I've let them know that this will be the fourth time, the third and the fourth time that I've received old products in my bag, specifically lip products. And I mentioned to them that there were repeat items from newer bags. I'm not gonna lie, the response I received was a bit annoying. Not only did they not like address the fact that there were old lippies in the bag, but they were making it seem like, oh, well, I'm sorry you just didn't like the products, but that's what we do. We just put the products in there and I'm sorry that you didn't like them. That's basically what they told me, which is some bull. My main issue 
is the old products. And the person that responded to me in the email didn't even address that fact. So I sent another email saying, hey, what about the old lip products? That's the real problem. You know, I can get over the Kapari and the Care Clips because I can give those away. But those lip products, I don't like getting old in my new bags, okay? If I order something that's on sale and it's been on sale for a very long time, like those lippies that I got from ColourPop, I know that those have been on sale for a long time. So if they arrive and they're a bit old, I understand because I bought them on sale and they've been on sale for a long time. So obviously they're gonna be old. But when I buy new mystery bags, I'm expecting new products in my bag. I'm off my soapbox. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Should we stop buying mystery Ipsy bags because they keep scamming the f out of us? Or do we keep, you know, getting the surprise and then every now and again we get some really good products and we can be like, oh, this was a good one. Oh, that was a bad one. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.